Thank you. Tunasema ni asante sana kwa sababu tumewaita kwa muda mfupi na mmekuja. E, tunashukuru kwa sababu hiyo ni heshima kubwa. Leo jioni hii tumekuwa na viongozi wa chama cha Jubilee e, katika kaunti yetu ya Nairobi na ni viongozi wa wanaume, the men, the chairmen because in our in our in our structure we have chairmen, we have chair women and we have also the youth. So this afternoon or this evening we have had a meeting with the chairmen. We have had meetings with the chair ladies or chair women and we have also had meetings with the youth. Na ni katika hali yetu ya kuendelea na mambo ya chama. Na tumiongea mambo mengi ambayo yanawahusu eh, sana sana tumiongea mambo ya eh, ambayo ina, inatakana tuyafanya ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba chama chetu kimejiandaa kwa mambo kwa mambo ambayo wako mbele yetu. Lakini pia kama ni kawaida ya viongozi wanapokutana tumeweza kuongea mambo ambayo yanawakela ama yana, ya, ambayo ni mazito kwa wakaaji na wafuasi na wale ambao wanawasiliana na wao kwa kila wakati eh, on their day to day activities. So there are, there are a couple of issues that we have discussed and um, they are leaders and I would want uh, to give them opportunity to articulate them. Uh, and we will we'll start with the chairman of the branch ili aweze kusema uh, mwelekeo wetu bwana degwa kutoka embakasi karibu sana thank you kwa majina ni getonga degwa the jubilee chairman narobi county kama vile above hiyo mnatuona hapa tuko na uh, sg wetu wa chama ya jubilee na pia tuko na chairman ambao wametoka katika constituencies all the 17 constituencies katika Nairobi na tumekuwa na mkutano ambao tumeogea mengi kama vile Bafio eh, SG amesema na kati ya yale ambao tumesema ni ya kwamba hali ya maisha imekuwa gumu sana na kesho nitakuwa siku kubwa sana kwa sababu ni siku abaye baba atatupea mwelekeo kuhusu yale ambayo tutaendelea naye kuanzia kesho na vile tulivyo chairman wa jubilee na robi county tumekubaliana ya kwamba kutokana na vile ambavyo baba atatagasa ile mwelekeo abaye atapeana abaye atatupea kama chairman wa jubilee tutakuwa pamoja na ye tumekuwa pamoja na ye tutaendelea pamoja na ye na kwa sababu tunataka kupigania mwananchi tukiwa ndani ya asimio kwa sababu sisi ni wana asimio jubilee tuko ndani ya, ya asimio na tuko hapo na tutaendelea kuwa hapo mpaka wakati ambapo tutakuwa tumepigania mwananchi na tuone ya kwamba mwananchi amewasha kuteseka kosti ya maisha imeenda chini na kwa sababu katika wakati huu vile ambavyo ilivyo ni ya kwamba hata chakula kukura ni shida. Sufuria hazina kitu. Sufuria siko. Uga bei ni ya juu. Kwa hivyo ni ya kwamba mwananchi hata katika biashara hapati kitu kwa sababu ya vile maisha imekuwa gumu. Tunaomba ya kwamba wananchi wa Kenya ya kwamba baba vile atatagaza tujitokeze zote pamoja ili tuweze kuona ya kwamba serikali imetii ile zile demands abaso baba ameweka ili maisha iweze kuwa rahisi kwa sababu sio kwa sababu yake sio kwa sababu yetu heri ni sababu ya wananchi wote wa nchi ya Kenya asante thank you so much eh, tuko pia na five ya people as you have heard from uh, our sg mimi <coughs> jeroge mimi na husika tuna kitu moja sababu mimi nifanye biashara wa Nairobi na Nairobi tuko na shida wacha watu ya, ya mnyamakema kamukoji gekomba mpaka yule raia wa kawaida ako na shida kama hivi juzi kaya raia wame introduce mashini ya kwamba nikiwa kwangu dukani napiga hata nikiuza kado wanaona pesa yao ni ngapi 
nikiwa kwa baba yangu dogo nikiuza chupa moja ya tasuka nikipiga wanaona pesa yao ni ngapi je swali nauliza commission na general wa KRA why should die buy that machine ni kwa nini ninunue machine 1500 nimlokote ushuru nimpelekee kana kwamba mimi ni mwajiliwa wa KRA ingekaliwa jabu ramana ningekuwa nimepewa ile mashini buri na niwe broker lakini kwa watu wetu jamani mama mboga ulihaidiwa kado itakuwa bure mafuta ya tau kinunua dukani itakuwa inapigwa kwa ile mashini lazima ushuru inaenda hapo direct bados mliomboa mkiwa sokoni bados itakuwa bure jamani sijaona soko Nairobi mnaitisha mboga kinangop na bados ya bure Wacha nikuja kwa dugu zetu. Walikuwa na maandamano juzi. Wakazunguka Nairobi na sinya makema ni Kenya. Kitu inaitwa consolidated container. Sababu so, si ndo fanu wafanya biashara wa Nairobi. Ilikuwa nikileta box yangu kidogo inapimwa kwa kilo. Nalipishwa kwa kilo shilingi mbili. Imetoka kwa maskini imeenda kwa bonyenye. Imesemekana ile consolidated container ama ile container ya jumla ambayo tuna Kenya wadogo sana anaweza jaza container kutoka China ama Dubai. Kwa hivyo tu wanashikana watu kumi, laki mbili, laki tatu tuna jaza container. Wamesema ile container itakuwa inafunguliwa Mombasa kama ni chupi inafunguliwa moja moja inaangaliwa bei ya kule unailipia moja moja. Nyinyi wa Kenya mkubali inawakuta nyumbani. Haiko kwenye biashara peke yao. Mtawacheka wa Kamukoji, mtawacheka wa Majengo, mtawacheka wa wapi? Lakini iko kwenu nyumbani mahali mnakaa na mnaketi. Hii simu serikali iliyopita ilikuwa imesema hiyo consolidated ka box yangu moja ikija inawekwa mudhurwa nikipata fedha yangu naenda na ikuamua pa pale napeleka sokoni imesemekana ifunguliwe nilipe moja mo bei takuwa mtu wa chini ama itakuwa bonyenye. Asantini sana. Haya, waje tusikie treasurer wa branch. Amjambo <coughs> wa watu wetu wa press na tunashukuru kwa vile mmekuwa muki mkiitika mwito wetu. Kwa maana kwanza mimi naitwa Stanu na ni treasurer wa jubili na ni chairman wa starehe constituency. Mmekuwa mkifanya vizuri manake zile mambo tumekuwa tukiongea hapa ni za wanjiko zile mambo ambazo watu wetu walidanganywa tukiweka bibilia chini tutayatatua walipoweka bibilia chini walianza biashara za kuangalia nyuma kwenye walitoka wakasahau walikuwa naenda mbele lakini ni kwa nini ni kwa sababu sio wa Kenya waliwapatia kura ndio hawana agenda ya nchi hii sasa hii tunavoongea sijui kama mkoa wea noti ile ambayo ilikuwa imefungwa ya elfu moja wamerudisha iko sokoni nyinyi wa Kenya mko na maelfu ngapi na mamilioni ngapi mumeweka kwa nyumba ambayo mnataka irudi ili ifanye kazi ujiulize uliambiwa wewe ndio hasla wamelete zile pesa na mnaangalia ekonomi yetu angalia dola imefika wapi wamekuja tena kurundika zile manoti za zamani ili wale ambao walikuwa wamezificha kwa maana zilikuwa za chini ya maji walikuwa nazipata kwa ukora ziweze kurudi kwa soko sasa hiyo ni njia ya kuosha na nataka kuambia hivi mumeona kila wakati maneno ni kanisa kila sande zimejaribu kuoshwa zimeshindikana huko saa hii as we speak ziko kwa soko deraru ile ilikuwa inatengeneza pesa isha wameifunga Manake kazi yao ni mambo yale ambayo ilifanywa na ilifanywa kwa njia inayofaa na rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta ili ekonomi yetu isonge mbele na wanjiko aweze kusonga mbele kazi yao sasa ni kurudia na huko nyuma ili wapate ile mvinyo tunataka kuambia hivi wa Kenya wetu tafadhali mbio la mgambo limelia tugojee kesho tupewe mwelekeo ambao sisi ndio wengi ili tuweze ku, ku, kuangamiza 
hii maneno mnaona inakuja moja kwa moja kengine mnatupiwa kengine mnatupiwa kengine mnatupiwa tuweze kuifanya tukiwa pamoja na nawaambia hiyo sasa imewekwa kwa soko hiyo ya deraru hiyo hiyo noti mzee hiyo mtaona ekonomi yetu itaenda wapi na wakahayo mengi na machache nataka kumalizia nikiambia wa Kenya wetu sio Raila Odinga unatetea mlianza mkadanganywa Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kenyatta hawalipi kodi sasa mmeambiwa maneno ya kodi hapa imekuja kwako kwa nyumba ni wewe mwenyewe unajitetea wakati sisi kama jubilii tukiongozwa na SG hapa tuna chukua muda wetu kuja kuongea maneno yetu ni kwa sababu tumegundua tumefinywa tumefinywa tumefika mahali ambao tumeinua hadi mikono na tunawaomba kwa heshima kubwa wa Kenya wetu kesho tukitangaziwa tujitokeze kwa wingi tukue watu peaceful na tuta, tutahakikisha ya kwamba chochote CS Matiangi was one of the most dedicated workers this country has ever had since independence He was able to transform the education sector na he brought back integrity and dignity to that sector. Watoto wetu tulikuwa tuna, tunajua sasa akifanya mtihani ile eh, resource inatokea ni za ukweli. Tumemuona akifanya kazi hata kwa interior ministry. Hii mambo ya budget ambao wanacheza eh, karata na kidiki alikuwa amewaweza. Na sasa dio huyo kila wakati amepatiwa karibu apatiwe kitada kwa DCI and we also know there are others who are being targeted i think next on nine is the attorney on sunday digiji promised that he will give us the names of the people who received money that was carried by police officers to a police air wings pale wilson kwa masaduku wale ambao walipatiwa hizo pesa na he promised to give the names by today wednesday wednesday bado haijaisha imebakia masaa sita kabla ya midnight na nataka kurudia tena alisema yeye mwenyewe atapatiana majina ya wale ambao walipelekwa pesa na masaduku na wale ambao walipeba pesa hizo ni askari wakitumia kwenda mpaka police airwing. Sasa wewe mwenyewe ujiulize wa Kenya. Askari ndio wametumiwa wametumiwa kuiba pesa za Kenya. Na askari ndio wanatekana kurida pesa za Kenya. Na zimepelekewa watu ambao ligejia na jua na akasema atawataja leo usiku ama leo kabla ya saa sita ya usiku. Tunagojea. But before that what has happened? Sasa tunaona tena sarakasi zingine ya kusema ya kwamba eh, ya tani alihakikisha ali kwamba pesa zimetolewa pali eh, ziko kwa jia ya isiofa the controller of budget has constitutional protection to his office all her office and we have also seen the dpp behave the same way if they succumbed to pressure other than what is provided for under the constitution then they have already breached the constitution or the oath that they took when they are the was getting those offices na kitu ya kwanza wanatakana ni kujuzuru kwa sababu hawana uwezo wa kufanya kazi kwa zile maofisi hata wakati huu chini ya kampuni ya Rigiji na William kwanza kampuni ibaya kuliko serikali na tunaelewa ya kwamba hii ni jama tu ya kufuruga na kujaribu kuonjana kwamba serikali ya jubilee haikufanya chochote chini ya uli, chini ya uongozi wa eh, our party leader eh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Kwa hivyo hii ni, ni vita ambayo tunaiona na ni kama lazima sasa tutijitayarishe. Hii kampuni imeafugua vita tu, hawana mambo mengine isipokuwa ni vita. We know that the 15 billion shillings that was with the drone was with the drone and it was aimed at specific ministries and specific projects within those ministries na haina maana ya kuwahada wa Kenya ya kwamba kuna pesa zilipelekwa na askari air wing na ikaenda kwa watu wengine mabinafsi this governance of intimidation is taking us nowhere na mimi nataka kuambia wa Kenya 
na tunasema hivyo kama jubilee na hawa wanasinatoa shukrani zangu kwa uongozi wa branch ya jubilee chini yake chia mandegwa if we don't stop this government it is going to corrupt this country baba akiongea kesho ama kesho kutwa wewe mwenyewe jitokeze shida ni yako ni yangu 3 million kids out of school today we cannot be, have a government who is going just good, going to nurture street to uh, street children or street families when you don't allow kids to go to school you create street families we are back to where we were in the 90s mtoke tusimamisha hawa watu watamaliza sisi asante sana ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba sisi wenyewe tulisema hatuna serikali tuko na kampuni yes kwa sababu wako pale kwa sababu ya kula waliiba lakini hata mambo ya kula kuiba kado sasa wamekuja kuiba hali ya maisha yetu wameona haitoshi wanataka sasa kuhakikisha wameanza kufunga watu na kufanya watu wajinga kusema ya kwamba ati uparaji ndio umetuletea ile shida tuko nayo hawana uwezo hawana mwelekeo they are cruelless ladderless planless directionless these guys must be stopped asante sana kama tukae hapo tukuje bele kiasi lakini hata wewe ni mjeuri umegojea tu tukuje tubebe na tulikupatia hii utegenes hapo ni sawa eh ni good Huh? You know this is a chairman, eh? This is chairman. We had the time for chair women. Yeah, we were since we are very gender. When we have them, we have 100%. Yes. 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 I think it is for that. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. And uh, this is Tarah. Uh, county chairman. Yes, Rakin Beach County. Uh, Come on, let's go. 